We protect our young. That is a fundamental commitment for everyone, in all cultures and in all walks of life. In several regions across the globe, intestinal parasites cause morbidity and malnutrition, especially among children, hampering their physical development. So when we look at the effects of the soil transmitted helminths, infections accumulate over time by living in these environments. Most of the time these infections don't reproduce in the human body and so it has to come with every time that somebody's exposed, they get more eggs, they get more worms, they then contribute to contaminating their environment. The eggs or intermediate forms of the intestinal parasites are easily transmitted to the environment and to the people who live there. This occurs mainly in three ways. The first one is through the soil, when people in general and children in particular dig, play, swim or work. The second way the parasites are transmitted is via infected drinking water, a problem in many parts of the world. And the third way is through food that is not properly washed or eaten and cooked, like vegetables. More than 1.5 billion people are presently infected with intestinal parasites, and children suffer most. Today, Johnson & Johnson's global public health team is battling parasite infection on a global scale through mass drug administration of Varmox. Well, in order to make uh, mass drug administration programs as effective as possible, it needs a coordinated effort of different stakeholders at different levels. Luckily, there are quite new technologies are coming into the field, enabling to counteract parasitic infections. But in order to further increase the effectiveness of the mass drug administration, new methods for screening and analysis are needed. Testing is carried out by collecting stool samples in schools, for instance. The rate of infection is then assessed by counting the parasite eggs in each sample. A collaboration with the engineering company, Eteplan, might prove a very important step towards increasing the scale, speed, and reliability of the testing procedures. When they're manually counting the eggs on the slides, they're using a microscope, and so for each parasite, they're clicking on the counters and counting them as they see them. Uh, in our solution, we're automating the movement of the stage and we're collecting images for every field of view. And then we're using a artificial intelligence to do the counting and the classification of each of the parasites. To counteract a global health challenge like intestinal parasites is a daunting task that will require focused, localized actions, as well as vast resources and no small degree of ingenuity. Since 2006, Johnson & Johnson has delivered more than 1.7 billion doses, billion with a B, of its parasite-finding medication, reaching over 110 million children each year worldwide. We want to help the global health community to identify sustainable, long-term solutions to reduce the prevalence of intestinal worms in children and adults alike. To protect the health of children growing up in areas infected with intestinal parasites is a serious commitment for both Johnson & Johnson and Eteplan. It is part of our universal human commitment to protect our young. <laughs>